Hey guys, more logic tips, and here's a really, really quick tip for you. Okay, we all know about the cycle range, right? You just drag across on the bars and beats lane and you create a cycle range section. You can drag in either direction, left to right, or right to left, and you create a cycle range. And when you drag to create that cycle range, it always snaps according to what you've got the snap set here on the snap menu. Okay, but what you might not know is you, if you can do this holding down the command key, and then something completely different happens. It doesn't matter which way you drag, just hold down command and drag across the bars and beats lane at the top here, like that, in either direction, and it creates a skip range. So I've dragged across there, holding command, and now when the playhead gets to this point, it will jump and resume playback at the end of that section, skipping this section completely. Yeah? Yeah, it's completely, completely um, flawless. It, it, it stops here and jumps to the next section and resumes playing without missing a beat, so to speak, right? And, you know, just like with the regular cycle range, you can drag the front or the back in and out. You can drag the whole skip range around uh, wherever you want it to be, etc. So if I set my skip range, like, from the beginning of bar 8 to the middle of um, bar 13 here, the very middle of bar 13, it'll just skip that section out of the song completely. Yeah, really, really useful when you want to listen to your arrangement and take a chunk out so that section is omitted and hear what it's like with that bit missing. Uh, you haven't got to bother lassoing all the stuff and deleting it and then moving everything up to fill the gap. Just put a, a skip range around the bit you want to not hear and the player will just miss that bit out and just carry on as if it didn't exist. It's really, really useful from time to time.